Hi, it's John Costa Mesa R&D. Well, today we have a uh, couple of shocks that I've fiddled around with here. Uh, we had a customer come in with a couple of SPAX shocks that were coilover units. And as you can kind of see here, these got uh, pretty well beat up. Uh, this one here actually had the uh, adjuster completely blown out, so there was no dampening at all. He uh, decided to bring a set of other shocks in and see if we can make him a set of coilovers, which we did. I wanted to show you how that was done. We've got a uh, bottom ring here, which uh, supports the bottom half of the spring. We have the adjuster unit, which gets welded on. And then we have the top, which goes on the top up here. Now, I want to show you some things that you need to think about if you're going to attempt this project. If you take a look at this, we had to grind off the um, dust shield that goes around the shock. And that left us with this little round thing here. It's fairly thin material, and what I did was to make it so it fits in this top piece real, real snug. And we left this material here just in case the thing should start to collapse. It's going to collapse on this. It's not going to totally collapse and come to grief like this one did. On our adjuster, we actually cut a uh, slot in here. And then we put a set screw in the bottom down here of our spring seat so that when you put this in, uh, this one here is not welded yet, but when you put this in you can actually make adjustments and have them stay where you want them. No more fiddling around with wrenches and all kinds of silly things like that. Now each adjustment that you make is going to be about 100 thousandths of movement because we're using 10 threads per inch on our sleeve. Uh, for me, that's the easiest way to cut it. I can cut more threads if I need to, but 10 threads per inch seems to fill the bill. Of course, this one we had to bore out to fit over the bottom of the shock. Anyway, um, if you have questions about coilovers or would like to get some made, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.